So we are right in the, underneath a an apartment building. Let's see if we can get up here. Nope. What about here? Yep. Whoa, there's a lot of apartments. So we're definitely going back into a more build shop area now. Although I can't say this is a nice place to live, given that it's for one it's kind of old and then run down, and for another it overlooks the scutter. And not very appealing sort of river. And bits of it is falling apart. There's a light here. Why would there be lights here? That's very strange. Like it's like why would you have lights in a place where you don't expect people to go? That's very odd. Very, very odd. Closes. Boats, tugboats. So I guess that's an indication of the know the fact that the boats do travel up and down the river. Although you it should be pretty clear by now given the the different docks and then loading stations that we've gone past. Uh danger, okay. Machine room? So again, we're in the back of places. <laughs> this next part is kind of confusing. Or oh, at least I've always found it confusing. It's in... It's a container yard. Where you're chased by a helicopter at the same time. So... But it's, it's still quite linear. There's really only one place you can go, or only one path you can take. Although the helicopter does chase you around. If the helicopter will come back out and have a look. So this is one of the places where you have objects in the space, but it's not clear how they got here. Like these containers. How did these containers... I mean you can... No you can't. Like this door is not big enough for a truck to transport these inside here. So 
so that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, like, there's no way that you can just carry these things in here and you can't push them along the ground. And even if the truck can get in, there's no crane to lift them off the truck. And I think well, we'll, we'll kill the helicopter and then we'll go back outside. But I think there's no crane outside either. some ammo. I mean the warehouse itself it's a perfectly fine warehouse in terms of architecture. They have skylights and then the shape of it is fine. But the bits inside is a little strange. <laughs> and the fact that there's no stairs going up here I mean, I understand that the puzzle here is to jump across the the containers, but I mean, if you imagine a warehouse in the real world, you know, you wouldn't expect people to to, to do that. That's not safe, you know. So we're through the warehouse and then out to another part of the yard. Okay, that was a bit too rushed. to do is to come up here and then kill the helicopter using no using these guns So we chase them away and then we open the gate. Alright, so let's go back outside and look at this yard. The container yard. Yeah, like I thought, there's no crane. There's no crane to lift the containers and move them anywhere. So how do, how do you... How do you get these things in here? No idea. Like really small doors. Like these are you know, garage doors are big enough for vans and, and normal cars, but not for any trucks that are big enough to hold the containers. And these containers are inside this fence here, so there's no way to truck them here anyway, even if there were any way for the trucks to get here. So yeah, strangeness again. 
aside from that, fairly ordinary looking industrial buildings. Industrial, in case you didn't realize it was industrial. Nothing special. Nothing particularly special. Alright, back to the boat. And actually, uh, maybe I'll end the segment here. Oops. Yeah, I'll end the segment here. It seems a, a reasonable place to, to stop. It might, might be the loading screen up ahead, actually. Get the helicopter. Okay, I'll, I'll end there. There, I come.